Everybody out east said the same thing about this freak snowstorm. This kind of thing didn't used to happen. This never happened before. And while that is true, it may also be true that we'll all have to start getting used to this kind of thing over the long haul. That story tonight from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. Around the world, it seems like the weather is going to extremes. Not just the Halloween snowstorm in the Northeast, but record-breaking flooding in Thailand. 1,400 new highs hit in the U.S. just in the month of July. Moscow reaching 101 degrees in the summer of 2010. Heat and wildfires consuming southern Australia in 2009. This is the future, and we're already experiencing climate change. Dr. Jerry Meal is the senior scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder. He says our warming planet makes extreme weather events more likely. As greenhouse gases created by burning fossil fuels, such as oil, gas, and coal, alter the climate. Just as steroids make the baseball player stronger and increase his chances of hitting home runs, the uh, greenhouse gases are the steroids of the climate system. They increase the chances of record-breaking heat to occur compared to record-breaking cold. If the climate weren't changing, the ratio would be one record hot day to one record cold day. Meal says we saw two record hot days for every record cold day in the last decade, and this year we are on a three-to-one pace. Heat and little rainfall have parched Texas for the last year, making it, in the words of state climatologist John Nielsen Gammon, the worst one-year drought in Texas history. This is really the first time when, when climate change, um, the impact of climate change has manifested itself in a tangible way uh, within the state of Texas. Adding to all this, a new study that finds global warming is real and that the science behind it is not impacted by bias, bad data, or cities that act as heat islands. The existence of global warming, I think, is pretty much beyond dispute now. I think we have closed the last remaining questions on that. Mueller's study is getting a lot of attention because it was funded in part by a foundation backed by Charles and David Koch. They are oil billionaires and climate change deniers. Today, no one can deny that extreme weather is here to stay. Brian? All I know is this didn't happen when we were kids. <laughs> Ann Thompson on the change in our weather. Thanks.